Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Two years ago, Governor Rick Scott swore to uphold the Constitution. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and government. The Constitution and government. It's a promise the ACLU says the first time politician has broken multiple times. The ACLU released this report Thursday evaluating Scott's first two years in office and highlighting their 11 suits against the state. During Scott's first two years, the ACLU sued four times on voting rights issues. Twice the Civil Liberties Group beat Scott's drug testing policy, once for state workers and once for welfare recipients. Let's check your policy. The ACLU won an injunction on behalf of doctors after Scott signed a bill banning physicians from asking patients if they own guns. The last two years, I think, in Florida uh, has been extraordinary. On a conference call Thursday, a panel of ACLU lawyers told reporters if Scott doesn't change his policies, more suits could follow. We're going to be looking uh, a lot at juvenile justice and criminal justice reforms. I caught up with Executive Director Howard Simon after the call. The law is clearly not on the governor's side, but I think maybe what he's thinking about is gambling, that by the time these cases come to the U.S. Supreme Court, he might have an opportunity to change what the Constitution has meant. Of the 11 suits, one was dismissed, the ACLU lost one outright, and four are still active. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray.